Okay, I just want to do a little video. Um, this is a fix for the uh, fuel gauge that does not work half the time. Um, you'll have a little filler gauge here. It'll have bars on it. It's all digital. Right underneath here, you take that screw out and that screw out there. Uh, it's a number 30 uh, Torx. Pop those out. And then right behind here, this cover. Slide this back. Right there's that connection. And then you unplug this here, which is to your fuel, your fuel sending unit. Um, not a fuel pump, just fuel sending unit. And then on top of here, you'll find a... Actually, hold on, let's... Uh, just a second, we'll... Uh, Come back here in a second. Okay, back to what I was doing. Uh, I took out the two bolts here. This just folds back. What I'm talking about is that right there is your fuel sending unit. There's a little white clip right here. You have to pop out from this side. There's two little tabs. You'll have to turn this, pop them back a little bit. This will release here. And you'll have to spin this all the way around, but once you get this clip out of here, um, it does take a little finesse. You gotta finagle it; it will come out. Um, same with the with this. Just pry up a little bit right here. Just kind of wiggle it; it'll pop this up after you get this clip out. And then you'll be able to move this around and everything. Pull it out. What you're gonna find in there is two little contacts on the filler flotation. Um, just pop that off, um, you know, first check your connection, your wires and everything. See if you're, um, if you're getting any ohms through your filler. If you are, then it's probably wiring somewhere past that. Um, for mine, I ended up having a issue with um, the contacts on the filler. Um, there's two little contacts. One goes on, one is on top, one is at the bottom. What they do is they get like a, like a green film over top of them and they're just, uh, they don't make contact. So that way you don't end up with, uh, you know, with the proper, it don't show that it's full, but I'm just going to show you, I'm going to start this. We'll show you what I'm doing. See, that I used to read E all the time or it would read full. Um, it was kind of funny. It would get contact and it'd be kind of kind of weird. But uh, that is uh, that is pretty much my my video. This is uh, this is a 2008 F570 um, fan cooled. Um, if I run into any other problems um, or fixes, I will um, I will definitely make a video um this is a 136 i did do the conversion um to a one uh from a 128 to 136 uh tracks usa had the kit um as you can see is it is extended um i do have a two inch 252 pitch paddle track on it um it does fit um it gives me about another half inch or so um between the uh, jack shaft and the tunnel. As you can see, there's lots of room yet. I was going to go a little bit bigger, but I don't know if the sled would have turned would have turned the track. Um, got any other questions? Let me know.